from Hollywood, it's the, 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 the Tom Likas Show. Oh, God. And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind of a radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right-wing wacko or a convicted felon. No! I am your host. Write down our telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. It's Thursday and time for another edition of Like Us 101. Well, it's Like Us 101. Welcome to the class. Spend less dough and get more ass. If baby want a steak, baby gotta wait, because I ain't spending more than $40 on a date. Yeah. Buy ya, lick it, don't buy ya. B, if she answers the cell phone, disappear. Yeah. Wanna get laid? Gotta be an oh. asshole. Spike, use prophylactics with Tabasco. Hit it. No time to spoon. These are the rules of Professor Poon. Got a knocked out, but you look in the switch. Pull a Hail Mary and jump that bitch. Kiss 101. Welcome to class, son. My kiss 101. My kiss 101. Welcome to class, son. My kiss 101. Like is 101 is the on-air, ongoing adult education course teaches men how to get more tail for less money. Just as importantly, we teach women how men think. I'm your professor. Class is in session. This, this here is my classroom. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, for those of you who are not familiar with the basics of Like is 101, let's review. Very important to know the rules. And of course, if you have questions about the rules, you can, uh, Ask your professor. Your professor will be happy to to update you or to uh, school you. I've schooled many. <laughs> Let's start off with the basics. Dating equals porking. The purpose of dating is to get laid. The purpose of dating is not to see the new blockbuster film. The purpose of dating is not to go out to a restaurant and see how much money you can spend. The purpose of dating is not drinking coffee at Starbucks. The purpose of dating is to get laid. And everything you do on a date, the purpose of it is to ultimately end up between the sheets. That's it. No two ways about it. Do you understand? No two ways about it. The purpose of dating is to get laid. If you have a date scheduled for this weekend and you are not certain that your goal is to get laid, don't be a pussy. Cancel it. Cancel the date right now. Cancel it. Call her now. Cancel. Stop being such a goddamn pussy. You are going on a date to get laid. Any other reason is just a waste of time. Women are attention whores, and they'll be all too happy to get you to go out with them and dance with them and eat with them and pay for their meal and pay for their drinks. They'll be happy to parade you around town while all the other guys who want to have sex with them are, like, in the vicinity. They would love to do that, Poindexter. Your goal is not to do that. Your goal is to get her uh, boozed up and then get her home as quickly as possible. And then put your pants on and get out of there. That's it. We have a three strikes are out policy here at the 101 classroom. Woman who does not put out within the first three dates, done. You move on. We do not believe in marriage. We do not believe in relationships. We believe in having a bullpen. The bullpen is uh, a situation where you've got five or six different women you can call upon who serve different functions. One is the classy chick you can take to the company Christmas party. One is the slutty chick. One is the not as attractive chick, but the one who's available at any hour, like calling 911, like in case of emergency break glass, somebody you will never take in public with you, somebody who will never be seen by your friends or family ever. The idea is to have a variety. Not to be settling into relationships, not to be getting married, not to be having babies, always using condoms. 
We don't spend more than 40 bucks on a date. Zero is optimum. Optimum. You want to spend as little time, money, and energy as you possibly can because women will just eat all that up. Every night you spend with a woman who's not serious about getting into the sack with you is a night you could have spent with somebody who won. Why do you waste your time? All you guys have been dating a woman for three months, four months, five months, and it doesn't move beyond holding hands. It's time to stop the nonsense. Stop the insanity, as someone once said. Stop it. Stop dating women who are never going to sleep with you. You're not imagining it. They're never going to sleep with you. What's worse, many of these women are having sex with other guys. How do I know this? Because <laughs> I am frequently the other guy. I'm, I'm dead serious. Remember that time you took a girl out to dinner and her cell phone rang in the middle of dinner? That was me calling. I wanted to know how long she was going to be busy with you. All I wanted you to do was to pay the bill so she could get the hell out of there and get over to me, where I would have sex with her at no cost. You think I'm kidding. There's guys out there right now listening to this show, specific people who I could name if I chose to, who were sitting in a restaurant. That's you at the Red Lobster, pal. That's right. Sitting at a restaurant in the middle of a conversation with some chick and her cell phone rang. And you remember what she said when she picked up the phone? Here's what she said. She said, oh, hi. Never said my name. Never indicated my gender. She said, I'm here having uh, dinner with a friend. And that was code for me, that it was a guy who thought he was on a date, you know. A, a, a friend. She said, um, I'm right in the middle of dinner. Can I call you back? And then she got right off the phone. And you were satisfied with that, you know. You were satisfied that she got right off the phone. What you didn't realize that five minutes later with that phone in her purse, she said, I got to go to the little girl's room. I'll be right back. Then she went into the bathroom and called me from the she called me from the stall. That's right. Yes, I had to listen to the water swirling around in the bowl and everything, but guess what? There you were, Poindexter, sitting there looking at your watch, wondering where she was, and I was talking to her with the echo in the background and everything. I was in the I was in the ladies' room with her for all intents and purposes. There you were, counting through your fives and tens, make sure you had enough money to pay for dinner. Remember she came out of the bathroom? Oh, hi! Yeah, oh boy, I need to go to the bathroom, you know! <laughs> you know, you drink a lot of that water, you gotta go to the bathroom! Then remember later in the evening she said, Oh my God, look at the time, it's 9.30! I gotta work tomorrow! Remember she told you that? She thanked you very, very much for dinner. And she said goodnight and gave you that peck on the cheek, remember? And then what she did was she got in the car and she drove right to my place in the Hollywood Hills. And her head was banging against my headboard for about three hours. With that all-you-can-eat shrimp sloshing around in her belly. You think I'm kidding. It's absolutely true. Boys, I'm trying to save you from this. By the way, when your girl is texting and she says, oh, this is a friend of mine, it's me. Saying things like, when are you going to be done with that loser? <laughs> and she's uh, with both thumbs writing me back. He's a nice guy, but uh, I'll be here another hour or so. I'll call you as soon as I get out of here. And, of course, that's great. That's music to my ears. I'm banging some other chick while I'm texting. You know, it's like... <laughs> I hope she's going to be at least an hour with you. I hope you keep her busy. I hope you buy her another drink. I hope you agree to have the souffle that takes an extra 20 minutes to make and you have to wait after dinner for the souffle to show up. I'm all about that. Because I need to sweep the chick out of my house who's there now to make room for new inventory. 
trying to save you the heartbreak. The purpose of dating is getting laid. It is not going to all-you-can-eat shrimp night at the Sizzler. It's it, That's not the purpose of a date. I love shrimp as much as the next person, but that is not the purpose of a date. You want to eat all-you-can-eat shrimp? Take your guy friends. I mean, seriously, there's nothing wrong with a blooming onion. Take the guys. Don't waste that on a chick. Are you kidding me? Meet them after dinner. For God's sake. So seriously, boys, if you are wasting time, money, and energy on chicks that don't put out, my job is to keep you out of commitment, keep you out of relationships, keep you out of marriage, for God's sake. And by the way, most importantly, we don't date single mothers here in this classroom. We don't. Single mothers have already made one mistake. We don't want to be paying for the next one. You should live up to your responsibility and pay your job the right... No. We have no interest in that. We have no interest in being on the Maury Povich show or anything of the kind. So, guys, if you have questions about how to get laid and how to avoid commitment and how to avoid these chicks in there, and ladies, if you disagree with your professor, your professor is open to rigorous scrutiny and vibrant classroom discussion. We can compare and contrast and you can complain, whatever. All you need to do is start dialing. Tom. 1-800-5800-TOM. 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 After listening to you, Tom, you set me straight. And you know what? I, I attribute my last two sexual encounters to you, man. I love you. It's Like Is 101 on the Tom Like Is Show. It's the Tom Likas Show. Likas 101, I am your professor. 1-800-5800-TOM. Thanks to Colin Kelly, who uh, recorded the theme song for Likas 101, which, of course, is based on the Carl's Jr. Flat Buns commercial that he did. He's the voice of it. He's the original guy, and he did the track for us here. He's got a MySpace page, Colin Kelly. Go take a look. Hear his work. There you go. 1-800-5800-TOM. That is our telephone number. Mackenzie on Like It's 101. Hello. Hi. 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 I'm actually one of the people you're talking about. What kind is that? The girls that date people but don't sleep with them. And will sleep with someone else. Oh, you are one of them? Yeah. So you get free meals and free drinks from Poindexter in the IT department or those nice, sensitive guys who will never ask you to sleep with them, right? Pretty sad, but yeah. So you take full advantage of it, and then you are getting the phone calls while you're on the dates. Right. So I, and, pretty much, I pretty much separate them how you're separating. How I separate guys are pretty much how you separated the girls before. The guys who will take me out and then the guys who I'll pretty much just sleep with. Right. And any guy who would spend money on you, you have no respect for. Mm, not really. So you just have sex with the guys who don't spend any money on you. Actually, no. Well, yeah. The, yes. Yeah. Yes. Well, you're not having sex with the guys who are spending money on you. Right. And you get those cell phone calls in the middle of dinner. Right. And at the movies. Right. And while you're having drinks. Right. And then you make up excuses to leave? Right. I'm tired or I have to go to work or... There we go. I have school or... Yeah, pretty much. I keep trying to tell this to the guys. Yeah. They don't believe it. They, they, they think they know, they know more than I do. Right. I mean, it's it's pretty much there. I mean, it, it basically depends on the girl. If the girl can do it, she'll do it. No, I totally agree with that. Well, I'm glad you called in to confirm this because... Uh, you know, I've been seeing this for a long time. I've believed it for a long time. Right. But uh, yeah. unfortunately, uh, and I, the reason I believe it is because I've dated girls like you. Like, right. I'm the guy getting the call from you when you're crouched in the uh, stall in the ladies' room. Right. I'll be done with him in about half an hour. <laughs> I just have to let him pay the bill, then we'll be going. 
And I say, take your time. <laughs> and I know you won't take your time. I know you want to get out of there as fast as you can. Yeah, I mean, and they, they sometimes get irritated, but they still come back. It's not like they won't stop talking to me. Yeah, they're suckers. Right. And I hope the boys are hearing you say that. Because I, I know that's the, the how girls like you are, and you know that's how girls like you are, but these guys fall in love and stuff. They're nuts. Well, yeah, that's the whole thing is that they fall in love too fast, and that's the reason why they, they stick around. And girls know it. Most girls know that they will stick around. That's why they take advantage. Now, do any of these guys try to make a move on you? they try to hit on you? Do they try to kiss you or anything? What's that like? What do they say? What are some of the awkward things they say to you? Um... They seem to be more shy about it. They don't really basically put that much of a move. But when they do, if I was to basically give them any little excuse, most of the time they'll just let it go. Really? Right. Wow. Amazing. So, Mackenzie, after you're done having dinner uh, with whatever uh, geek you're going out with this weekend, uh, you want to hook up with me later? <laughs> sure, Tom. Why not? I'll I'll start I'll start heating up the hot tub about eight o'clock while you're at dinner. Should <laughs> okay. be ready by the time you get there. Sounds good. All right, darling. All right. Thank you. <laughs> you think I'm making this stuff up? One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom is our telephone number. Peter on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, Peter. Yeah, I'm just calling in because. You know, I I was I was seeing this girl for I've been seeing her for like the past couple months. You know, when I first met her a couple years ago, she was weighing like about 120 pounds, five three Hispanic chick. She was pretty hot. You know, it just so happens that in the the past year we kind of lost contact with each other, and then like we see like two months ago, I ended up bumping into her, and um, now she's like 50 60 pounds heavier. And, um, you know, to make my, to make a long story short, you know, um, I kind of like, I told her, you know, what happened, you know, that, um, that I stopped watching, why, why, why I stopped calling, I made some excuse up. And then within the first week, I banged her, you know, I banged her once. And I told her from the get go that I wasn't, I didn't want a relationship with this chick. You know, I just, I just, I was, well, my approach was I just wanted to have, 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 a, have like a friend with benefits. And then, um, so this happened, what, like two months ago? And in the past two months, you know, she met my mom. Now she knows my sister. Why did you let uh, that mom. happen? I don't know. I guess I wasn't listening to your show enough, you know? I mean, how did she find out where your mom lives? Well, because um, uh, she she came to pick me up one time. We went on a date. Why, why'd you let that happen? You live with your mom? Yeah, I live with my parents. Why would you let her know where you live? Yeah. <laughs> so you're laughing. This is d dead serious, you know. We get fined for that stuff. Yeah. Seriously, okay. don't do it. Yeah, and it ain't even like. And now she kind of like, I don't know, I don't know where this is going. You know, I just, I just, I mean, I, I'm still. Well, I know where she's going. She's going uh, to uh, get uh, married to you. That's where she's going. Uh, no, I don't want that to happen. That's not going to happen. Well, that's what you say. And by the way, there's one more thing about it that you told Dean that you didn't tell us. Tell the crowd now what, uh, tell the rest of the class. Uh-huh. What's the part you left out? What's the part that I left out? Yeah. Um, that, um, um, that, um, she's, she's a year older than me. <laughs> You know, I'm 26 years old. She's 27. No, no. There's she's another. A, there's another thing a, about her you left out. Single mom. There we go. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, she's a single mom. And How many times? Yeah, you know. How many uh, kids? One. Uh huh. And she she must have had him when I don't know. She's 27, and the kids like one. Well, Thirteen. Like the germ. The germ is like 12, 13 years old. There we go. And, I mean, at first, when we're going out, you know, the the kid was always with us, and, like, I couldn't put my arm around Why her. did you tolerate that? Um, I guess out of stupidity. Right. I'm a fool. So what is your question? My question is, how can I have it to where I'm just... You can't. Her friend. You can't. You, know? you can't. You can't. 
Why can't I? I mean, because she's a I single think... mother and she needs to get a paycheck in that house. But it's not my it's not my kid. What it's not the point. Do? That doesn't stop them. You cannot date single mothers, period. But she pays. When we go out, she always picks up the tab. That's an investment of the future. She wants your paycheck under her tent. I'm telling you. You, you don't believe me? Yeah, of course I do. You then you have to me. stop dating her. It's done. You have to stop. So I can't. But I can still be her friend? Or that's no. Her, that's her. No, because there are no. Single mothers are not friends with benefits. Well, okay. They're not. Forget that. Yeah. That's That's in your dreams. Single well, mothers are constantly looking for the next paycheck. Well, I just at least want to get my last shot, if you know what no, I mean. No, you had it already. Yep. You like, are lucky you didn't impregnate her. By the way, do you use, I con use a condom? I always use a condom. Yeah. Well, I always use a condom. Yeah, and what kind of birth control? I've been listening to your show for the, at least for the past year, and I always use a condom. And when did you so start dating months. her? Huh? When did you start dating this woman? I started dating her when the, it was, I started dating her like a year ago. When you started listening to the show? Um, at the time I was like, I really wasn't like into your show. I was just like, I was really, um, I've barely been into your show for the past, I mean, I, I listened to your show for the past year, but I've, I've been really listening to your show. Like, no, you decided you knew more than the professor did. You knew what my position was on this and you went out and did what you wanted anyway, didn't you? Well, you know, sometimes, you know, the temptation is temptation. That's just because you have no game. You have no game and you don't know how to pick up chicks. Uh, no game. <laughs> That's right. Well, obviously nobody has more game than you, Tom. Well, the point is, if you had game, you wouldn't be stuck with a single mother. Yeah, you're right. So, and... So how can I, how can I just... By the way, son, that? may I ask at 26 why uh -huh. you are such a loser? That you are living at home with your parents? Because um, I guess I can say I was a very privileged son as I was growing up. What does so that I come mean? from an upper middle class family. So what? Where my parents own small businesses. So why don't they get you an apartment? Because since I'm the youngest of four, they're, I'm, I'm like uh, my mom. So they're not as well off as you say? Huh? So they're not as well off as you say? Actually, they, they right now, they're, they're pretty well off. So why haven't they gotten you an apartment? Because I, I don't know. And why haven't I you gotten, you, why haven't you gotten yourself an apartment? Because I don't want to, <laughs> I get to, I thought it was, I, I mean, I live at home with my parents, I don't pay rent, I don't, you know, I don't have that much bills. I guess that's the reason why. What? You know, you know I, I mean, I run, I run their business, their small business. And I guess that's that's what I've been doing for the... That doesn't mean you past. can't live in your own place. Yeah. It doesn't answer the question. Yeah, I guess that's something to look forward to, you know? No, it's something you should be doing now. Not looking forward to it. You should be doing it now. Oh, well, yeah. I mean, I'm going to start going back to school in January. I'll start going back to college. You know, because I was doing the college thing for a minute, but... For a minute, that's probably right. And uh, why'd you stop going to college, son? Because I'm, because I thought I had it made of just working with my parents, you know, running their their business. Yeah, but what do they run? A roach coach? I mean, what 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 is their business? <laughs> they we're we're in sales and retail. What do we you sell? sell? We own bridal shops. Bridal shops. Yeah. Okay. And accessories. And you thought that you didn't need college because you were gonna be you were gonna have it made in the shade by selling bridal outfits. Well, I guess you can say that, yeah. Are there any multimillionaires who do that? Nah, um, not that I know of. Right. But, no. But you were happy to uh, just throw everything away and do that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know. I guess yeah. You think that was a good idea? No. Of course no, not. Of course not. Because if if it, if it wasn't, if it if it, I would have been living on my own. I would have been on my own if I, if I would have just stuck with college, you know, and get my AA, got transferred to a major university. Like that was the plan, but obviously things don't always go as planned. No, but that's because you're busy dating single mothers, and they come over to your mommy's house and pick you up. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah, you're correct. You have to stop doing that, son. 
Okay. I know you won't. No, no, no. I, I'll take. Believe me, I, I'll take your advice. You know, the other, to me, I mean, I'm. I mean, I tell all my friends, you know, listen to Tom, because he is the master. He, I mean, he is the master of what he says. Everything he says makes sense. And if it doesn't make sense to you, you're gonna suffer the consequences in the future. You know. Well, um, then uh, you got to break up with her immediately. Okay, Tom, can you take me out Kobe Bryant style? I can, yes. Oh. Oh. This is about us. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Yeah, it beats in my heart. Oh. Yeah, the air I breathe. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. So what's a guy in for if he goes out with you? A good leg. The Tom Likas Show. From Hollywood, it's the Tom Likas Show at 1-800-5800-TOM. Likas 101, I am your professor. Aaron, in Portland, Oregon, home of the other white meat. You're on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How's it going? Great. Well, I've got a wonderful Likas 101 success story for you. Yeah. All about how being a jerk really does pay off. So I had a friend, and she got kicked out of her house. She needed a place to stay. And uh, she asked if she could stay at my place. And I thought, you know, I don't know, having having her think she could stay too long. So I made it very clear it was just a one-night thing for now. But, yeah, she could crash for the night. And then when she came later that night, she had another friend with her. This girl had also gotten kicked out of her place. She's like, can she stay too? And I was like, yeah, sure, why not? And back in my pussy days, before I started listening to you, I would have given them the bed, maybe slept on the floor or the couch or something. But uh, didn't do that. Just said, nope, I'm staying here, and I sleep naked. <laughs> And uh, they both both got naked and climbed in with me. There we go. <laughs> and it was great. We had a wonderful, wonderful time. <laughs> That's the way to do it. And then uh, next day I had to get up kind of early. I went to work. When I came back, it keeps getting better. And my entire house was clean. They had swept. They had vacuumed. Wow. They had my dishes. They had done my laundry. There was a meal waiting for me. <laughs> Fantastic. And, you know, didn't really thank him for it. Just kind of took it. And, you know, I guess I let him stay another night. (laughs) (laughs) And it went on like that for three, four days. Then uh, I kind of started wanting my apartment back to myself, you know. Got kind of bored of it. I mean, it's fun. But, you know, I like living alone. It's fantastic. How uh, great was that? But you were a jerk and it paid off. Yep. And when I wanted them to leave, they didn't stay here anymore. And now I've just got two more for the bullpen. Perfect. I got to thank you for it, man. I'll I love you. it. The one-on-one lifestyle is working. It's fantastic. 20 years old and not a care in the world. <laughs> Sounds good to me, Aaron. Thanks. Can you take me out with a bong rip? Of course I can. <laughs> Here comes Mike on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello. Yes. Hey Tom, how are you doing? Great. Oh well, I'm I'm a uh, I'm a can't say a long time listener, but I'm a uh, I'm a pretty decent listener. I've been listening for about six months here now. Um, I can't say that I catch the Thursday show every time either, but I, I do believe in everything that you got going on there. I appreciate it. Thank you. I had a question for you, Tom. I wanted to run one past you. I am uh, I'm committing yes the cardinal sin. I am dating a single mother. Why? Now, I mean, originally it was a, it was a work thing. Yes, I made the mistake of dating somebody at work. As Strike well. two. Yes. Dude, no, I I understand why. I'm hey, watch idiot. your mouth. Watch your I know, mouth. I, I know. I remember. I remember. I'm not like some of these other idiots that call in. You have some tools call in sometimes too. Um, I I mean, is is it really done? Is it really? There's no way of salvaging the situation. She's a she's an okay girl. Don't get me wrong. I don't deal with the kid whatsoever. I told her. It's not proper. For but me that's, not the, point. Wife, if, that's if not the I'm point. That's not the point. I'm not going to beat it. If, like, are you using a condom? What's that? Are you using a condom? Yes. You understand if that condom leaks and she gets pregnant, she's going to have the baby. Yes. And you and don't I, care? I, I, I don't know the exact like a sentence. I told her, you know what? Look, 
we must keep on top of the birth control. If you are, if you get pregnant, I'm not going to end my life. I told her, you have already made one mistake. I'm not going to end my life. If I must be there financially because of, you know, obviously California legal reasons and everything of that sort. But why would you let yourself get into that position in the first place? Why would you take a risk like that? That's the answer I guess I just can't find. Well, you better find it. And in, in uh, the Grandmaster's decision, it just should be that that should just leave, right? Out. 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 All right. You got it, Tom. I've been waiting to call for a little bit to get uh, I, I, one last thing. I mean, I'm, I'm always the type of guy that asks why, why, you know, that sort. Why because you don't that? want to get into a situation where she gets pregnant and you have to pay. Dumb. On Dumb. top of that, right, you are 23 again. years old. Yes. You are too young to have a relationship with anybody. Yes, that is. True. Even our relationship now is kind of single weird. mothers want a relationship. Mm -hmm. That is. True. You I are too young for that. How old is her kid? Her kid is four. She's had the kid since about seventeen. Oh. Yeah, that's great. And how does she but pay now, her expenses? What's that? How does she pay her expenses? She works two jobs. She works at a bank as well as a restaurant. And does she uh, sucker you into taking her out or spending money on her? Nope. I, I mean, I've, I've been talking to her. There's been times where she'll take me out. She'll want to buy me things. And there's times I have to tell her, no, go spend that money on your kid, not me. I have my own money. Right. Well, uh, no single mothers. No, no single mothers. No single mothers. No. And no, no serious relationships. No serious relationships. Because I'm not here to be to be here for anybody. I can't promise anybody that. I don't think it's fair for anybody else either. So you've answered your own question. Tom, thank you once again. If you could take me out with a bong rip, I would love it. Of course I can. This is Jeff on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello. Yes. Uh, hey, Tom. Um, I just want to say, uh, I just started listening to your show like a month ago. I really wish I would have been listening to it a lot longer. <laughs> but uh, I uh, have this ex-girlfriend from Florida that, uh, you know, we've been dating since I was 15 and she was 13 or whatever. Well, you're lucky you left Florida because that solved that problem. Yeah, that that's a good point there. But we've been, you know, we've been talking ever since, and uh, she, uh, we're, we're basically at the point where she's gonna move down here with me. Why? Um, why? <laughs> well, you know, well, one of the, you know, we've been talking for a long time, and another big reason is the fact. The fact that you've been talking for a long time does not answer my question. Well, she's also in a really bad situation out there. She's. Uh, that's not your problem. At, I yeah, I know that. <laughs> Um, but, um, so yeah. you just called in to report the good news that why you're oh, yeah, calling? I want to know like what's, you know, no, you I, did, I, I if you're calling for advice, now it's getting serious. we've been talking about this for a long if time. If you are calling for advice, you're calling yeah. the wrong guy because you've already made the decision. Really? Yeah. Yeah. It's because it's happening and, and we, it's, and it shouldn't be happening. And yeah, now it's hitting me and. It's stupid. Oh, man. And it's going to end up costing you money. Yeah. Damn. Isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Who's buying her plane tickets, sport? Oh, well, she's she's get, getting all the money together. I've, I've already told her. I've laid down rules for her coming out here. Uh, yeah, so right. She's, blah, blah, blah. She's uh, paying for her ticket. She's... Well, if she can afford a ticket, why does she need to leave Florida? Well, she's she's got to gather the money. She's uh, why does she need to leave car. Florida? Hmm. Why does she need to leave Florida? Oh, she's got a her her she's married at the moment. She's getting a divorce. She's married. <laughs> she's uh, you're an idiot. And uh, she needs you're an idiot. Them. You're an idiot. You're an idiot. 
And you're going to learn the hard way, son. Yeah. Who's giving her the money for the plane ticket? Well, she's selling her car, and uh, her family's going to, I guess, help her get it together other than that. Yeah, and then they're going to dump her on you. And who's going to be paying then? You. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And, of course, you are independently wealthy, and you can afford this, right? Well, I mean, I'm finally, I've, I've been at this job that I've got for about a year and a half now. I've worked my work really So you, you started out as the uh, fry cook, and you've worked yourself up to assistant manager. That's fantastic. <laughs> well, no, I'm actually at, a, at an aerospace company, a um, manu- uh, washer manufacturing company, and uh, I, I started out as customer service, and now they're putting me, uh, in, they're making me the manager of the quality department. Oh, boy. How much do you get paid, son? Uh, well, they haven't told me how much I'm making yet. How right much now. do you make now, son? Twelve dollars an hour. Twelve dollars an hour. Okay. Let's do a little mathematics here, shall we? Mm-hmm. You work forty hours a week. Yeah. That's four hundred and eighty smackers a week. And you know how much that is per year? Uh, it's a little under, little under twenty, a little over, somewhere around. 20. Do you even know? I know it's somewhere around there. Well, I've I've been counting. I've I've got a second job that I work. It's a temp thing, and I make a lot more money. Whatever happened thing. to college, son? Actually, I, I've kind of, I really need to get into that. I actually screwed over a, I was a dumb teenager. I screwed over a four-year scholarship I had. Good, because you had a girlfriend, right? Yeah, it was, yeah. There we go. So, in other words, this woman is already ruining your life. Yeah, well, that was... Yes. Know, we, were, we were dumb kids, yeah, yeah. No, no, you're still a dumb kid. Yeah. You're a dumber kid now. You gave up a four-year scholarship to go to quality control for twelve dollars an hour. Well, I mean that's what it's led to. I mean that was years ago. That was oh, so you're making even ago. less back then. That's fantastic. You've worked yeah, your way up. So you're bragging. You've worked your way up to twelve dollars now. Yeah, exactly. Wowie, yeah. wow, wow, wow. So you make about twenty-five thousand dollars a year, which will put you around the poverty line. That's fantastic. Well, I'm probably gonna, I'm probably going to be at about thirty this year. I've got a ooh got thirty, still my beating heart, and you're going to have to support a second person who's going to come to California with no friends, no job. She doesn't have a, you know she doesn't have a job within a month. I don't care what you told her. I don't care what you told her. You know what? What you told her doesn't matter because you're going to feel sorry for her because you're one of those. She's going to move into your place. She doesn't know anybody in California. She's not going to be able to find a job right away. You won't be able to get her in over there at quality control. And she's going to be sitting in your place watching uh, Judge Hatchet all day long while you're out there uh, checking the the quality of agitators. That's going to be fantastic. There she'll be, that's, that's, yeah, exactly. living in your house, watching commercials for DeVry Technical Institute, and 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 uh, um, what was the name of the uh, guy who fight for you, uh, Larry H. Parker, <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah. Watching yeah, Maury with that's, the that's, watching Maury with the DNA test all the day. You'll be working there. You're getting your twelve dollars an hour. And there she'll be sitting in your uh, little apartment out there, and uh, wherever it is. Where's your apartment, Jeff? Now I got to hear where it is. Panorama City. Where do you live? Uh, around Cyprus. Around Cyprus. So you're Cyprus adjacent. What is that actually? <laughs> I'm, in, uh, I'm in Anaheim. Anaheim. Oh wait, no, Buena Park. Yeah. You're not even sure where you live. I'm in Buena Park. I'm right. I'm right on the corner of all the, all those cities. I'm right. That's in great. Must be convenient. You can go to Knott's Berry Farm anytime yeah, you feel like it. <laughs> Pick up a little fried chicken over there at the fried chicken restaurant. Fantastic. Well, Jeff, you just said got a lovely life ahead of you, and I'm looking forward to when the condom breaks because that's when life is going to get real interesting, and you know that's coming. Yeah. You were just one of those. Had a lot of luck with that in the past. Ah, we'll see how much luck you have now. Good luck, son. The Tom Likas Show.